guys what it's up it's ivy and today i wanted to make a quick video i mean quick got away a video in why your art is not improving well i'm not the one to say that i'm the best or anything but i work a lot on different art and i work in around nine groups and I see a lot of art and I see many many artists that have the potential to improve now uh, the first thing and why you don't improve is that you don't accept a proper critic what is a proper critic a proper critic is when you tell the artist that the work is good on this part for example they are very very good with the shading with the coloring with everything that except they mess up a lot on the anatomy for example uh, a chibi is a super deformed character which has a big head a small body small hands etc now, if you want to draw a normal character, and I've seen this many, many, many times, uh, is that if the, you want to try to, to do the perspective, uh, the perspective does not mean the arm suddenly becomes huge. That's wrong. And when you try to point that out to someone, they say, oh, no, that's the way it looks like. No, it doesn't. You could use a program called... Uh, designs all which I had a tutorial about it maybe I should do a new one and you should see how the anatomy works if you want to do a chibi it's your way you can choose the chibi being big head uh, or small hands or... it's up to you there are many variations of chibis there are chibis where they are proportional just big eyes and the character is small itself it's not the same as a um, child beware of that now why am I coming up with it because recently I got uh, someone asking me why do their work is in novice and I tried to explain that uh, the work is not bad itself However, the way they posted the work with bad lighting, with like the, pa the whole page showing off and the excuse was, well, I don't have a scanner. Well, I have a tutorial and I give that person the tutorial in how to put uh, the character with a good lighting. I did that and I also made a tutorial here on YouTube. and. The person make excuses 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 I'm sorry if the work is on novice but the way you took the picture and I'm gonna give a, an example with my own work so no one will say oh that work is from that person now I'm gonna post my old work and this is not how should you represent your work okay it's not because this only shows you that you are a novice in what you are doing. I'm sorry. The other thing is, just because I work in several groups does not mean I am a very, very popular company that if your work got stolen, uh, we will immediately, uh, um, how do you call it? How, how do you call someone? to that person no the least we can do is report to the event art that's the company if that was the company that the work was posted even if it was uh, you had to pay it's not like oh yeah we do that for free no if someone used your work you have 
to pay a lawyer, for example, to sue a company. Or if it was on different charts, they can be banned. And the IP, etc. But you can't do anything much. Now, there was another artist that I approached them and said, May I have a word with you about your work? And they said, Okay, tell me. And I said, Look, you, your work is very, very well painted. I couldn't do better myself in digital art. But I think the head, if you aim for a child, I think the head, the neck and the shoulders are too big. And the person was very grateful, very grateful about my comment because they said, you know, no one tells me what's wrong in the drawing. That's the difference between a critic and a bad comment. A bad comment is when they're like, oh, your work is terrible. You should give up on drawing. This and this and this is wrong. All you do is wrong. The character has a long arms and legs. That shouldn't be it. Okay. That's not a critic. That's a troll, okay? Uh, you shouldn't listen to trolls. Neither you should uh, listen to people who don't have a base on the critic. I also had one recently, I'm not, I was very, very moved because they told me, you choose the correct uh, colors, you give the character the innocent look that they have, but you lack on shading. See the difference between a troll and a proper critic? I also had two critics that weren't critics that they are like, you suck anatomy, here, give me your email so I can show you how it's done. That's arrogance. Because there is no perfectionism. Some people take longer than others to improve. Heck, I took, what, 15 years and I'm still improving and I still want to improve. We all make mistakes. We all have to improve if it's that what we really want. It's not like that overnight you become uh, anatomy gods. You won't. It takes time, more, some people more, some people less. Some people can walk, some people can't. Some people have green eyes, some people have brown eyes. We are all different. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, if you accept a critic, a proper critic, you will improve. Now, if you make excuses, if you make excuses, oh, I did this because of this. I put the whole page because I want the sig signature to be in it. Okay, but you can use GIMP and just select that area. Oh no, I wanted the whole thing to be there. Sorry, your work is going to be on Novus because there is a lot of empty space there. Oh, I didn't want to, uh, to do a background. I wanted a clean page. Don't make excuses, guys. Sometimes you have to hear the truth and sometimes you have to be careful in how you say it because you never know how the other person can will take it and to this person i give a tutorial in how to <clears throat> do a proper picture on the work without looking terrible the other i also give um coloring you guys know my coloring tutorials i will post it here in pencil colors and this person rejected it and i was trying to be the nicest person ever i wasn't arrogant i didn't say hey you don't know how to do it here this is how it's done no i was like if you would like to have some lessons i have some on youtube if you are interested they said no okay just don't 
come to me complaining your work was stolen or your work was terrible I didn't do anything I tried to help okay I tried to help this person and this person did not accept it okay okay I didn't got mad but this other person was like I watched your YouTube, your YouTube videos and I want to learn more and I want to have more critics and more feedback to be honest I would like that one too I would like a proper critic and a proper person to tell me what I should improve it's not you're doing wrong so this is what I wanted to tell you in why your art isn't improving you could take um, like how to say it uh, an idol someone you like and go from there but don't expect them to comment on you because probably they have lots of people asking them in how to improve or they are not going to tell you or tell you to go buy their tutorials i did a few i bought a few and i'm still improving so guys i just wanted to tell you that that don't give up on drawing if you want to give a critic think carefully in how you want to approach that person because you never know if the person uh, will take it uh, easily sometimes people don't and sometimes it's better if you don't say anything if you're not gonna be in a way polite or approach them with um, some compassion and remember guys you were a noob too it's not like that you were like born with a pencil in your hand and you made a Picasso drawing you were there too you were there too so if you don't know where I'm coming from you're like oh this girl doesn't know what she's talking about I do it took me 15 years to get where I am and I still want to improve don't forget the ones that can draw also were noobs too at drawing okay you're not a godlike you're human as the others some take longer to be better some others don't and don't forget if you stop drawing if you are a master if you stop drawing you will have much more difficult than the ones that draw every day and try to improve that doesn't make you any better than others okay so this is all i wanted to talk about today guys um make sure you like comment face subscribe give it a comment about what do you think in uh, what parts or what areas in drawing you could improve your personal thoughts about it because we artists are the worst critics of ourselves give a comment down below in what you think you need to improve i personally need to improve in shading in digital art i need improvement because i think i'm okay with tra traditional like copic or color pencils some others don't i forgot how to use color pencils when they switch to digital but yeah don't forget to check out my social media guys because everyone keeps forgetting that and people say where are you uh, i'm on twitter and tumblr and twitch no and um, yeah my followers guys thanks a lot for watching make sure you comment like subscribe like i said and like always guys i'll see you next time and until then take care bye bye